All right, let's go to this now. You might be wondering, like me, what is astrotourism? right and what happens when you look at the skies in the northern cape when it comes to astro tourism we saw that the minister of uh, tourism there patricia delil approving the astro tourism strategy and of course this, the unpolluted night skies in the northern cape they provide almost like a way of you being able to see what is going on up there but i'm not going to give it all away i will just allow my colleague sbc news reporter ulrich hendrix to tell us more about what is astro tourism and what is the strategy that is now being put in place when it comes to tourism ulrich hi good evening bongiwe and well as you can see there from a shot in the sky uh, that is the moon, of course, and of course uh, the, the Northern Cape, very small population, uh, very little light pollution, of course, and so um, people from this province, of course, getting or, or used to having, uh, you know, those clear sky images of the stars, and of course uh, the national, the tourism authorities here wanting to take advantage of that, and saying that, you know, a national uh, astro tourism. Uh, strategy has been uh, approved so far and uh, you know that will will become a catalyst for the development uh, of tourism products uh, here in the Northern Cape. Let's talk to Dr. Leticia Jacobs from uh, the National Tourism uh, Department. Uh, so what does this mean? Um, the, the, the strategy has been um, approved so, so what's next? Great. Good evening to you. Um, we're just very excited that once the strategy has been launched on, on World Tourism Day, which will take place in Carnarvon, um, for the Northern Cape, we're just happy that this will now be our, our gateway to the galaxy. Um, this will really showcase off the beautiful night skies of the Northern Cape, and really we hope that it will create employment for our rural communities, small dorpies development, so that we can draw more tourists and feed into these small towns. So we really hope through this strategy, really rural economic development for the Northern Cape. So, so, so what happens now? Uh, I, I assume we will have to start building uh, infrastructure. We do have the Estro Guide, some already, uh, okay. but uh, other things need to happen before we get those tourists away from Australia and Chile. Correct. Um, the strategy is in, in three aspects. Infrastructure development, as you've mentioned, we are talking about developing the, the indigenous narratives of, of, of South Africans, of our various cultures, but also with partnerships. So again, Going forward, we hope to establish that partnerships with the local communities, provincial, um, local municipalities, as well as national government, tourism stakeholders, as well as the astronomy stakeholders, again, working together to make sure that we really move forward in growing astrotourism, not only in the Northern Cape, but also in the broad South Africa as well. So we've got SALT, we've got SKA that's yes. being constructed as we speak. Um, you know, so we have this uh, science route and this clear understanding of sky versus, um, you know, tourism. Yes. Um, you know, um, um, the strategy talks to that, but um, also to, to the local people and uh, development of these routes and these products. Yeah. Yeah, no, ab ab absolutely. Um, and I mean, like I've said, really is for rural development. We are also busy with the um, SKA Carnarvon Science Exploratorium. This is, will be our science center in Carnarvon, which will be built. And this is co-funded the, from the Department of Tourism and the Department of Science Innovation. So we're just happy to have that partnership, you know, a very, very unexpected partnership between astronomy and tourism. And again, moving forward. But again, there's so many other unfunded projects. So as the strategy will be gazetted, going forward we hope that we get some public comment as well so that you can see what other products are there that we can take forward and to assist to help develop and fund as well thank you very much dr Letitia jacobs of course from the national tourism department let's speak to brendan uh, boyson of course he is one of the uh, astro guides that um, was trained and is currently uh, busy doing that so uh, tell us about astro um, 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 tourism and you know how has it uh, been for you um, astro tourism is, has been very unique for me. I think in terms of astro tourism, uh, you mix astro tourism with the modern day astro uh, tourism. Astro tourism is so good because I think we here in the Northern Cape, we have the clearest open skies uh, in the world. That's why the SKA is here. That's why the Department of, of Tourism is in the role in doing the astro tourism in Carnarvon. So astro tourism, it's a really good opportunity for me and for us. It, 
uh, the reason why I said so because it gives me a chance to be a, a professional or accredited tour operator. It will also give me in the future a chance to start my own business. Currently, we are busy um, registering us as private entity so that we can get our tourists from all over the world and from South Africa to come and experience the Northern Cape, to come and experience astro-tourism. Astro-tourism isn't it just like in last night we were in, in, the, West, in the Western Cape. Uh, the skies are not so clear in Glen William. <laughs> but uh, I encourage tourists and people from all over the world to come and experience astro-tourism in Carnarvon, especially in the Northern Cape. So Brendan, tell us, you've got your, your gear here, so this is set up to, 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 to see the moon. Uh, so when you bring, so tourists come, uh, you show them, um, you know, what, what's on offer, basically. Okay, so basically, this is my working tool. So this is my favorite telescope. It's a 10-inch Dobsonium telescope. Currently, my telescope is on the moon. So what we do here in Carnarvon, or what we do in the Karua is, when we do stargazing, we're not doing the regular stargazing because we are not professional astronomers. We are um, amateur astronomers. What makes our stargazing unique, or what makes our telescope unique, or what makes the moon unique is, we observe the moon through our telescope and what we're doing, we showing people the moon and we're doing indigenous storytelling. So when Taurus come in Carnarvon, we told them when we do stargazing in Carnarvon or when we do stargazing in Branfly, we told them the people in Branfly believes that the craters on the moon are not craters, but they're the scars of birds who lost their way home because they did not follow the right Southern Cross. So for those of you who knows the Southern Cross, and the false cross. You must beware of the false cross because uh, our ancient uh, seafarers used the southern cross uh, to navigate. And currently here in South Africa, uh, wasn't that for the SKA? Uh, navigation will not be so perfect as it is in today. So come to Carnarvon and come and see the moon so that we can tell you when you are in uh, Cape Town. Cape Town is approximately 600 kilometers from um, Carnarvon and the moon is 384,000 kilometers away from Earth. So take the short left and come to Carnarvon. <laughs> Thank you, Brendan. Let's just have a, a look at what uh, we can see. Like you said, it was strained on the moon and I can actually see uh, the craters that you can't basically see with the naked eye, like Brendan was saying, um, a lot of the stars, the moon, etc. Uh, a lot of folklore uh, among the indigenous people of the Northern Cape. They used the, the stars as navigation, they used the moon as navigation. They used to track um, 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 the, the, the cycles also, uh, you know, with the moon. So not just about basically um, astro tourism, but also how it, 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 it links with culture and of course with uh, the, now most recently with science as well. Bongibe. All right, Ulrich, maybe I might just make a turn just to come and see it for myself and for convincing us with the viewers tonight. Well done. We'll try and make a turn there to the Northern Cape. That is my colleague, the SABC News reporter, Ulrich Hendricks.